Well, after telling you all the good stuff a couple of days ago that's happened to me over the last 29 months of the carnivore diet, I thought it was only fair to go over some of the hidden dangers of the carnivore diet with you today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. What you're watching is you're watching me walk. I know that doesn't seem really exciting, but if you consider two and a half years ago I couldn't do this, I could barely stand for a couple of minutes without severe pain, all of a sudden it gets a little bit more interesting. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. It means a lot to me that you spend just a few moments of your day with me. I would like to ask you all to help me out. Hit that thumbs up button. Drop down in the comments and say hi, Bob. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. All these things are absolutely free and help me get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. I'm 61 years old and I'm doing things I couldn't do when I was 40, like out here walking every day. I'm on that hill that I walk fast up to get a little extra. Just remember if you're adding a new exercise, take it slow and easy. You don't want to accidentally injure yourself. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this. I think I can talk well enough even though I'm walking pretty quick up this hill. The first hidden danger of the carnivore diet is that your friends are going to think you're nuts. No matter how much more healthy you get, no matter how much weight you lose, you're going to have some of them that just absolutely are going to believe that you're going to die tomorrow. And there's nothing you can do to change their mind. I am out here walking a little earlier than usual. And there's a lot of people out here on the streets for a Saturday morning. I'm almost up the top of the hill. It's a really nice morning. 60 degrees right now in Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, there's that stop sign. The leaves are definitely changing colors. Not a lot yet, but quite a bit. Okay. The next hidden danger of the carnivore diet is you don't have to spend so much time in doctor's offices and the pharmacy. And I really like those people. You know, between my pain management doc, my heart doc, my regular doctor, and the pharmacy, I had some place to go pretty much every week. And now I have so much more time to do the things I want to do that I have to find things to fill my time. And you know, a couple of the doctors, but especially my pharmacist, I considered them friends. And you know, when you get onto a certain schedule for getting refills every 30 days, you tend to bump into the same people 
every week. And you make friendships with people that are at the pharmacy at the same time you are. Because, you know, most of us, especially by the time you get my age, you know, going to the pharmacy on the second Tuesday of the month becomes pretty much a regular schedule. And other people do the same thing. Another one of the hidden dangers of the carnivore diet. This is another time when you don't get to spend an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes two hours, wandering around the grocery store trying to decide what you're going to buy, maybe even bumping into some friends, talking to the gal back in the produce section who's a friend of yours, all that stuff. You miss out on that because you just walk into the store, walk around the outside, grab some butter, grab some eggs, look through the meat counter, and you're done. So you don't, you don't get to spend all that time in the grocery store. And one of the big ones that I don't actually have Netflix, but I have other streaming services. But whatever streaming service you have, you get behind on your cues. You know, back when we were sick and couldn't do anything, that streaming queue was our best friend. Because we'd crawl out of bed in the morning and plop down in front of the TV and spend all day binge watching whatever show we were currently on. Just taking breaks to eat and go to the restroom <clears throat> and then back to it. Now, our time is all taken up because we have so much more energy to do things. We get to get outside and go for a walk, find other things to do outside. We get to play and other boring stuff, you know, like cutting the grass for yourself instead of spending money to have somebody else do it for you. Getting your trailer ready to go down to Texas, buying off-grid land. All that stuff kind of cuts into your Netflix time, or in my case, Amazon Prime Video. And one of the other really big hidden dangers out there that I wish somebody had told me about before I started this way of eating. New clothes are expensive. You know, having to buy a whole new wardrobe twice. Now I know there's gonna be somebody that drops down into the comments and say, you know, you can go to thrift stores. This is a sarcasm video. New clothes are expensive. And you know, every time you lose 50 pounds, you wanna go get smaller clothes just to amplify your progress a little bit. So in my case, I've bought new clothes, shirts and pants, three different times, because I lost 150 pounds. New clothes are expensive. I sure wish somebody would have told me about all these hidden dangers of the carnivore diet when I started. I hope everyone's having a great Sunday. Today's actually Saturday before the football game start, but you guys are going to see this on Sunday. So I hope you're having a great weekend. Don't forget to get out there be 1% better today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.